Welcome, welcome back, Achievers, uh, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of August 14th, 2021. I am one of your hosts today. Of course, as always, Elijah sitting digitally through the internet. Alex. How you doing? I'm good. Um... We ha- we've had a we've had a c- last couple of days. We're not going to get into it, but that's why the show's a little late for a couple of reasons. But we had some things we had to take care of, and we did. Yeah, some family matter. Yeah, we took care of it. Yeah. Um. So that's why it's a little late. I didn't have a chance to notify anyone because it was a pretty big deal. But we we figured everything. If the achie- if the achievers understand us, the, the achievers they'll, get they'll, they'll wait. They get it. Yeah. Yeah. They they'll know. Wait. They know life sometimes happens. Life just finds a way. You know? It does. Uh, that's a quote from, I think, Moby Dick. Life finds a way. Mm, yeah, anyways, be so anyways, right getting into the Before show. Moby Dick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alex, we have a gigantic episode today. Do we? Um, we have multiple oh, weeks of news to go over. Um, oh, we did gosh. not go over last week's news because... If you go over to Easy Cheers YouTube's channel or podcast service of your choice, you will find one blue box video that is doing incredible numbers for us. First off, thank you to everyone that's watched that episode. That was so much fun to make, so much fun yep. to do. Still don't believe and, it, but we'll see. And yeah, it's so Alex, I haven't actually hmm. talked to you about this, but I think we need to do an update because so mm. much has happened mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. The last ep- literally in the course of a mm-hmm. week, so much has happened, and I'm not gonna cover that in the news because it's not really news. So I feel like a separate video is um, much more appropriate for that. It will be titled the same with an update. I think it will be update to that. Yeah. So I think we'll do another one. So just keep an eye out. I I apologize. I don't have an ETA on that. It. I we're aiming. Tuesday, the big if though, big if. I mean, we're trying to if go for good. Tuesday. Um, I'm going to get in. I don't have a title for this yet because this is the first time this has ever happened. But we're gonna do a correction. Okay. So if you had watched this episode last week, the Blue Box episode, we have one correction from Bubba with an exclamation point. Bubba with an exclamation point. Thank you so much for correcting us. How you Bubba? From the YouTube comments of said video that we've been discussing, Bubba writes in with, Great videos, my dudes. Thank you so much, Bubba. But a few things. One, the app designer who made the fitness app is not the same Hassan from Blue Box. That person has come out and said he has no connection with Blue Box Studios. We will also be covering this in the update video. But just in case you were with Mm -hmm. us from that last video, I wanted to correct things just so you understand. Uh, number two, Blooper Team is still working with Konami, uh, and he puts a sad face after that. It's pretty funny. I'm <laughs> I'm not a big fan either of the Blooper Team working with Konami, um, but it was purported that Konami was looking for developers to make two new Silent Hill games, one that is a soft reboot of the series, which is reportedly being developed by some acclaimed Japanese studio, and the other is supposed to be a Telltale style game, which is to believe to be the one that Blooper Team is working on. It's a very strange situation regarding this game, and I'm looking forward to see what comes of it. Be it a Kojima, a Silent Hill, or a new survivor horror game. In the end, I'm excited. Thank you so much for writing it, Bubba. We, I, I'm not going to get too much into this because we've had a whole episode for it, and we're going to have another whole episode for it. But if you thought the situation couldn't get any weirder, tune into the next episode. <laughs> yep. I think it couldn't get any weirder. Tune into the next one. Second, glad we got some corrections there because I did forget that the app designer did that. I completely forgot about that. The second one I did know about, but I completely forgot to add it in to the docket. So I will apologize for that. Wow. That was, you had one job. I had one job and I, I sat on it. Anyways, we're done with corrections. We're going into rumors. Now, one's a rumor, but it seems to be heavily. Substantiated. 
And the other one seems to be real um, from everyone I've heard of and a couple of people I know that's been talking about it. Seems to be real. So first, Microsoft is making a studio that will specialize in Fallout, similar to the Coalition with Gears. It is rumored to be called The Vault. It's going to be a new studio that opens out that will just be focusing <laughs> on original. Fallout, which makes sense because, um, yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh, it makes sense, though, because um, the the, re- the reason I rationale this, it, it takes way too long to make Skyrim and Fallout games. Sorry, Elder Scrolls game. I always do that. It takes way too long to make these two games. They're like decades almost apart from each other at this point. Like mm-hmm. it almost takes ten years to make one. Because I mean, there's so much know. content. I mean, well, I yeah, guess there's, no, just there's so things. much content. So I, I do agree, Alex. It, it, it's not with without reason, but they do need to speed this process up. And I think a new mm-hmm. studio just focusing on one focusing on that sense. would yeah would help. It makes the, sense to me. I'm... Second, Alex, I think you'll like this quite a bit, and I'm sure you've already seen this, but Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy. Hey, oh boy, is apparently. In the works. I'm heading so, to Vice City, baby. So this is one of those things that has been rumored for months. I don't think we ever covered it on the show because, I honestly, I didn't believe it. <laughs> if, I'm, <laughs> if I'm being for, for real with them, I didn't think it would happen. I think we've mentioned it once. We did mention good. it one time. Um, it was it was when, like, a rumored GTA mm. 6 thing was happening, I think. Mm. Uh, and then we brought this Damn. up. It was weird. Um, so they're remaking a bunch of PS2 things, uh, the PS2 games, um, which is... Let me find them. I always forget the names of these. Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. These are going to be a mixture of old and new graphics made in Unreal Engine. Mm. Um, and then one of the sources apparently says that um, it looks like uh, someone modded the game, which is super weird to say. I'm like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? But apparently, I think what he means is uh, the the game looks much better than... Mm-hmm. what it used to then and what it used to so but that's just a weird way of putting it but i, I assume gotcha. that's what they mean but there's there's so many sources that these people have for this that i feel like it i mean if this turns out to be wrong it, it's pretty embarrassing but i think it's real i mean every everything's po- pointing to that uh mm. alex what do you th- does this excite you i, I oh, i'll go sure. first I'm... because i'm i'm just a big like i I don't, I don't care but go ahead okay I was about to say, um, I've never played, I've played three, never beat it before. So I'm interested in, I'm excited to play that one. Right. San Andreas, Vice City, played them so many times, mostly Vice City. I still play it to this day. I mean, I, I love Vice City just because, I mean, it gives, it gives me that, uh, you know, Cuban Miami feel, you mm-hmm. know, yeah. relates to home. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah. So I enjoy it and I'm. I'm wondering because there was always been rumors that we're gonna uh, for GTA Six or that we're gonna get reoccurring like characters, and there was a big that. rumor. Yeah, I know, of course, but I, I mean, you know, one would hope. And yeah, uh, big, the big one is always about Tom Versetti from Vice City would mm-hmm. would do like a little cameo in the new one. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, maybe, maybe one day. I I wouldn't be shocked, but I would like to remind you, Alex. In Grand Theft Auto Five, we get a cameo at the very beginning, uh, from the Lost in the Damned Man. Uh, mm-hmm. that, the main character of that and the way he cameos is he's still a meth addict he walks out of a trailer and gets his head bashed in by trevor and gets killed so it was a cameo it was a cameo uh i think you'll get a cameo a if you cameo. do though i think this man's getting obliterated before your eyes so maybe i think maybe. that's i think that's like them saying like leave us alone they're yeah. all dead <laughs> yeah maybe it was like a warning like you keep asking for characters. We're gonna give it to them. <laughs> um, I am indifferent. Uh, I I played. I was little when I played Vice City and um, uh, San Andreas. I bar- I <clears throat> barely remember these games. They they were fine, but I yeah. I I'll play them when they come out again, though. Um, yeah. of course for the achievements. I mean, come on. Oh, for sure. Come That's on. what I'm waiting for. This what if is... they do the thing where it's only on PlayStation? Don't stop. No, it's 2K. They're not. If <laughs> Alex, I'm gonna be pissed if that happens. Um, <laughs> only because it's something I can't have, which I can't have it, but it's still annoying. Like Final Fantasy. Pete, stop it. So why would we almost went a week without saying it? Why did you do this? Why won't they release the games? I like pressing buttons. This is a PSA to every achiever out there listening to you right now. The Halo story has leaked. Fortunately, mm. now when the flight came out apparently there were campaign files inside of the game (laughs) 
that was hilarious. I, I, for audio listeners, Alex's cat was, I guess, messing with something, and he had to just run and grab him and put him somewhere. It was hilarious looking. But to Sorry, I forgot my cat was in here. It, it, no, it was funny. I, I just told the achievers what happened, just in case they're audio. It looks so funny because mm-hmm. you turn around and you're like, ah, and you just run away with it. <laughs> uh, but uh, to get back to it, um, the uh, creative director uh, tweeted out, like, hey, um, some of our campaign files were in the preview builds. Not all of them, but some of the plot is leaked. So some of it has been leaked online. So beware. Interesting. Beware. I haven't seen literally a single peep of the plot, so I'm yeah. I'm hopeful that I won't get spoiled. <laughs> and there's some other noteworthy things from these data mines, Alex. <laughs> something else that might tip the hat at something. Simply one singular audio file. Now what? Alex, is that audio file? I'm glad mm-hmm. you asked. One great Jeff Sicer, which plays the multiplayer announcer um, which uh, what we call God, the God multiplayer announcer that, of course, tells you all the double kills, triple kills you get. There's an audio file in that game that simply says Battle Royale. I mean, Alex. Oh, God, yeah. I've been saying this for how long? We, we, Two we years knew that now? Was happening. Two years? Uh, Alex, everyone says... Every, Alex, every time I bring this up to somebody, everyone goes... But the guy said the only BR in Halo is Battle Rifle. Why did everyone keep saying that? Like, I, n- it doesn't matter. Directors lie to you all the time. Yeah. And I think he was just trying to get cool points. Like a, and he was like reading the wind wrong because no one said, no one was happy when he said that. Everyone was like, wait, what? <laughs> why? Like, literally. And he was like, Ooh, that, that didn't play right. I thought, it's I, like, thought it's, I thought that's what I was supposed to say. It's like the same thing with, you know, Blue Point and Kojima are not in cahoots. I mean, that, you know, that's a lie. But yeah. we'll see. It, it's, it's, I, it's, I am, I'm guaranteeing you, Alex. I know, oh, we're for, getting better. I know for a fact that we're going to re, uh, show off the Battle Royale mode E3 2019. I believe, yeah, E3 2019, they were going to show the Battle Royale. The reason they didn't was because Battlefield Five just looked so bad. Mm-hmm. I think it was 2018. Was it 2018? I don't know. Whatever. They were going to announce it. Battlefield Five released theirs. It looked like terrible, and they canceled it. Um, mm-hmm. They canceled the reveal. I don't know if they canceled the Battle Royale. I don't know. I, at some point, there was a Battle Royale for Halo Infinite. I think it's going to come out. I it know will. it's going to come out. You son of a bitch. It will. Alex, this is a long one. This is a bring back from the Blizzard Activision thing we got going on. So this is an update to the story. We're going to go over a couple of the updates. Uh, my opinions have not changed. I think everyone has been listening to everyone talk about the Activision thing. So I, I'm not going to beat it any more over the head um, than needs to be. So let's let's start. So over the past week, J. Allen Brack has stepped down as leader of the studio manning um uh, one of the blizzard studios now this is a big deal this man has been here for a very long time he was actually with uh bobby uh bobby kotick for a while and he's stepping down now people who are replacing him jen o'neill and mike yabara shout out to mike yabara he used to work at uh xbox game studios they will be co-leading blizzard um the blizzard studio um, and then, just for some context, Jen joined Blizzard in January as Executive Vice President of Development, and then she's been doing some senior development leadership and support for the both Diablo and Overwatch. She's also the former head of Vicarious Visions. Rest in peace, Vicarious Visions. We'll miss you. <laughs> uh, and then uh, he'll be leaving the company, as you can assume, possibly because of the issues that they're facing with this lawsuit. Now, shares. Let's talk about some shares. Shares have been dropping staggering. From the point mm-hmm. of writing this, which was, I wrote this, last time I checked, it was four days, five days ago, something like that. It was dropped 18%. That is a huge amount, and that's how you scare these people. Um, Bobby Kotick wrote an apology. I'll read it aloud for you. Our initial response to the issues we faced together and to your concerns were, quite frankly, tone deaf. Um, this is an email they posted and this was attained to the post. Uh, quote, I am sorry that we did not provide the right empathy and understanding. 
And then this is um, the day before the walkout actually happened. So he sent this email uh, right before they all just walked out of the. Um, if we experience prolonged periods of. Um, oh, I got into the wrong thing. That is, he just basically tried to do an apology to everybody. It didn't work out. Who cares? Moving on to the stock. Stock drop 18%. Um, during our earning calls, we get Bobby Kotick saying this, quote, if we experience prolonged periods of adverse pu uh, publicity, significantly reduced productivity, or other negative consequences related to this matter, our business likely would be adversely um, impacted. And this is from Aldry, uh, which is one of the head people on the board. And then we also have a letter from SOC Executive Director, oh, Jesus, Dieter <laughs> Weisnigger, I think is how you're supposed to say that. Shared exclusively with Axios. Quote, no changes have been announced or proposed that would be in any way alter the current process for filing uh, vacancies, either to the board or to senior management. No change has been announced with respect to executive pay, either with respect to clawing back compensation from executives who are found to have engaged in or enabled abusive practices or to align executives with the equity goals Bobby Kotick articulated. Yeah, and this is a bunch more stuff. This is all just PR talk. I'm not going to talk about all this because, to be honest, I'm not going to bore you, Alex, or anyone listening to this with all this garbage. Basically, they're saying, hey, our stocks dropped a lot. We're going to try and fix stuff now because we lost a lot of money. <laughs> uh, another qu uh, quick note, Louis Bagara, has, uh, which was the director for Diablo 4, Jesse McCree was the lead designer of the project um, that is taking over. Uh, for Lewis, because he is leaving. Did you see that they're debating on renaming McCree in Overwatch? No, no, no. So Lewis Bagara, he was mm -hmm. the director for Diablo Four. Um, he is. He was the one that just left. So yeah. Lewis Bagara, mm -hmm. Jesse McCree, which is a lead designer for Diablo Four, mm -hmm. and a World of Warcraft designer, Jonathan Lee Craft, have all been either left or fired. So this is. Lewis, director of Diablo 4, Jesse McCree, which is just a man. It's weird that he has his last name's McCree, of, of course, for Overwatch, but this is just a dude. He was a lead designer on Diablo 4. And the World of Warcraft designer, Jonathan LeCraft. These are all people that also have left. Alex, I have nothing to say about any of this. I wanted to bring all this up because we covered the initial story, and this is just an update to that. Um... Activision Blizzard sucks. Looks like they're trying yeah. to fix stuff. Um, it looks like you well, had we had to destroy <clears throat> their stock prices for them to do anything. But it looks like something's mm -hmm. happening now. Um, we'll see. This lawsuit's going to take a long time, so this isn't something that's just going to stop over a week. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's just, uh, it's affecting everything. But like, like, like for the thing I just said, yeah. um, the play players are are wanting to rename McCree because of this situation. Oh. Like the character, like the care Overwatch players lobby for McCree to be renamed in the wake of the Blizzard lawsuit. Oh, yeah. So they're yeah because yeah because of this whole situation, they're already, they're trying to rename the character. Which I'm like, man, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Makes sense, I guess. If if he actually did do some, mm. I don't know any. I I don't know this man from anyone else. I don't know if he was involved in any shenanigans, but if he was involved in some unsavory things, then I could understand if you're a fan of the character, like. Yeah, maybe we change the name. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but that's all I gotta say. Alex, Sony bought Crunchyroll. <laughs> Very strange that this was allowed. First off, I thought uh, so. The reason this took so long, if you remember, back Wasn't in it Funimation, bought Crunchyroll. I thought Funimation was the... Sony owns Funimation. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Yes, so I was okay. actually about to bring this up. Okay. I am shocked that the government let this happen. So mm -hmm. there's an anime streaming service that bought another anime streaming service. This is getting pretty monopolized, but <laughs> okay. Uh, I, the reason it took so long, because this, this initial bid happened like months ago. Yeah, la I, it was last year sometime. I don't have the date written down. Let me see here. It was like October of last year, I think. They okay. were like, yeah, we've bid and they outbid... Um, uh, other buyers, other potential buyers, and they're buying. Uh, it's five million paying subscribers and over 120 million registered users. <laughs> Jesus, 
Oh my god. That's Crunchyroll, man, for you. Yeah, uh, so they have now bought Crunchyroll. <laughs> There's already rumors starting that Crunchyroll may be rolled into PlayStation Plus in some way. I think we're uh, getting ahead of ourselves with this. I was going to say. Because uh, they literally, the day of, they're like, what if they added the Plus? I'm like, let's no. let, let's see no. before we start making just making rumors up. Because I have no. not seen anyone substantial say this is actually Look. Happening. PlayStation Plus hasn't even done anything with PlayStation Now. Are they really gonna do something with Crunchyroll? Uh, PlayStation Now actually has been getting some games over the last few months. Now, I mean, I still don't care about the service because honestly, that's it's insane. Great, but I'm just saying, it's not as bad as it used to be. They should just they just just remove PlayStation Now in general and add that into Plus and make that's it better. Happen. I know it's not, but yeah, I I don't I don't know. I, that's a good question. So you would prefer them just get rid of Plus altogether? You just don't enjoy the service? No, 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 no. I, I I want them to get rid of now. Oh, I did say Plus. Apologies. And then it, I meant yeah, now. And, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. Them to get rid of now. Get rid of now and in some way incorporate Plus to kind of make it kind of like a Game Pass Ultimate type of deal. I'm going to be very clear about this. If they just let me download PS3 games on PS Now, I would pay for it right now. Right now. I would buy PS Now right now and have it another subscription I pay for. I want to play certain PS3 games that I can't on my PS4. Just mm. let me pay for it. I'm not streaming the game over the internet. It's terrible. It gets, you have latency, all this mm-hmm. other garbage I don't want to deal with. Figure it out. I, don't, I know the cell processing with the PS3 was terrible. I don't care. Like, I mean, you can out. download you 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 were able to download PS One, PS Two games on a PS Three and PS Four. Like, why can't you download it, PS Three games on a PS Five? Apparently, this it's something to do with the cell processing, the actual thing that they used for the PS Three. The way they had to code exactly. I know, I'm bro, I'm right there with you. I don't. When people say that, I, I go, I don't care. Figure I, I, it out. I, I think is, they just don't want to lose I, money. I won't believe. I don't believe it's impossible. It's not. I guarantee you, it's not. It is not impossible to get a PS3 game running on a PS5 in some manner. Look, look. To be fair, we're we're talking about the people that just said that 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 you can use an SSD, but they don't know if it'll work. Yeah, that so, was that was a mess. That was a mess. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people defending mm. this stuff. No, because and let me be clear. <clears throat> This isn't like a console war thing. I'm just saying, brass tacks. They said they don't guarantee it works. Like that's just. But then weird. you're telling me to tr- the, the, to put it. They're like, you can do it, and everyone's like, mean it'll work. And, yeah, Why? And, and, and everyone me to do it on, on Twitter was like, oh, everyone's acting like it's so hard. You have to take a back panel off. Who's saying that? I, I know, I, and excluding the fucking Twitter fanboy people arguing each other, just, I, I ignore those people. There's no point. Why are you engaging with these people, anyways? Second, you have to like take this panel off. You have to open this <clears> thing. You have to put in. The fact is not even putting it in. That's that's it's not that's not the issue. It's the fact uh, yeah, that to make it too. to make sure it works. Me too. For, uh, yeah. So like, it's just annoying. It's another thing. Like, why is it so hard? And then why don't you know which ones work? We, yeah, we were like, supposed to get a full list this? and everything. Sec- uh, third, they're very expensive, <laughs> like very expensive. Yeah, there like is you're one company me to spend two hundred dollars as for a maybe. So no. one company got um, I guess like clout internet famous for a little. I don't know. A lot of okay. people retweeted their video of okay. um PS Five ready, and it was them just clicking a <clears> SSD <throat> into that little slot where mm-hmm. the SSD goes. That thing was like five hundred dollars. <laughs> like so, like I gotta buy another PS Five to put a storage thing in there. I don't know. I it's just weird. It's just weird. Cool. As soon as it's these things the, get cheaper, yeah. it's not gonna be nearly as big of a deal. But these things are four or five hundred dollars. You have to understand. For the people who are doing it, it's and a little it's weird. Ruin their PS Five. Good luck finding another one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. Be very careful, please, for the love of God. And no, also no, go ahead and do up, it. Go ahead and do it. Delete and also, it. Well, and also they brought up the heat seek thing, but most SSDs come with heat seeks apparently that I heard, which like, then why did they bring it up then? It's so because weird. Because they don't know what they're talking about? So, Sony, is, there's Sony PR, it's man. Like, it's, it's so like, weird. It's, it's like Sony PR is doing all this stuff without the the, uh, the guide of Mark, the Mark Cherney. with them? 
Yeah. Like the actual engineers that like I don't know. Yeah. It does kind yeah, like of Mark seem Cherny's that way. over there is like like why do you tell them that to do it? It's no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe is there a chief out there that maybe we're missing something? Let us know. But I, I just I don't understand this. Speaking of Sony, uh, they've delayed Horizon Forbidden West to the first quarter of 2022. This is good. I believe this still isn't specifically been said by Sony. Um, I think it's still a quote unquote rumor, but it's I mean it's delayed. But I'm pretty sure we still don't know if it is for sure Sony said this. Um, because I have not seen. Yeah, it's still reportedly. Yeah, its reports suggest that it has been delayed. Yeah, yes, it's still reportedly PlayStation reports, insiders say all this stuff. It's delayed, but it's technically Sony has not said. Uh, it actually has been delayed. Yeah, it's just saying that the the yeah new reports. The, yeah, new well, reports, it came. Yeah. Well, the the rumor came from Grub, and uh, they, this was followed by an article from Schreier. Yep. So I mean. We'll okay. see, I guess. If we'll it see. if it gets delayed, I mean, cool. Delayed. I mean, I, it, it, let let it let it get it get let it get polished. I had a really great tweet where I just tweeted that this got delayed, and I said I was finally right about something. Because <laughs> I I called this. Oh, yeah, I, I mean this. that was literally a no brainer. That was as like, of course as, I was. As soon get as they showed the um the delayed, game at the uh, state of play, and there wasn't a date mm-hmm. at the end, I went, "This thing ain't." Nope. Oh yeah. Nope. See you next year. Very excited though. Yep. Game. This was strange. Phil said, Phil Spencer, of course, head of Xbox, said, quote, Elder Scrolls 6 won't be released until after Fable. I mean, I could see that. Strange, right? That we're no, still... not really. But you have to think about this. They announced... I mean, we've seen a cutscene for Fable, so we'll probably get Fable in the next... Three two years. three years two three years i would say but yeah it's just so, so strange Scrolls that we're five still, but it's so strange that we're still talking about Elder Scrolls six it's because people it, it, it gets they their pants wet man well, they, that's true probably gets like a lot elder of scrolls like a people yeah i mean uh, it's elder scrolls elder scrolls it's like like people's call of duty like it's their it's their thing and this was on ign's unlocked podcast by the way just just to know where the actual thing is. but they said this is uh, uh, fables coming before, which is so weird to me. I don't know why. If you had, if you would have asked me, like, it feels strange to say Fables going to be out before Elder Scrolls Six. But I mean, it makes sense because again, we still haven't got Starfield. Mm. And Bethesda takes fucking forever to make any video games for some reason. Mm-hmm. Don't know why. I mean, because we're too worried about uh, <laughs> all that seventy six. So I'm just uh, I guess PlayStation Now games have been announced. Near Tomino, this is until November 1st. Ooh. Ghost Runner and Undertale. Oh, I wanted to try that. I don't really cover the PS Now games, Alex, so I started adding them to the docs uh, okay. because we talk about all the upcoming Game Pass games. So I, fi- I figured mm-hmm. it was fair for PS Now games. So those are the three new PS Now games for the month. Now, the Game Pass. This is already out. Um, these first couple, I will not be saying dates because these are already out. Curse of the Dead Gods. Game Pass. This is on cloud console and PC. You seek untold riches, eternal life, divine power, at least to a cursed temple. A seemingly infinite labyrinth of bottomless pits, deadly traps, and monsters. Your greed will lead you to death, but that is not an escape. Rise to fight again and defy the Malinic. Ma- Mal- oh, God, I can't pronounce this word. I know what it is. Maljanet? Fuck it. Deities that linger in this place. Malignant. 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 Thank you. God. I know it knew it was malignant, you, were you? <laughs> but my tongue was not letting me say it. Mm-hmm. Dodgeball Academia, Cloud Console, PC. This is ID at Xbox Games. Get ready to dodge, duck, dip, and dive. Dodgeball Academy. Available with Game Pass on day one. The vibrant sports RPG puts you in a world that lives and breathes dodgeball. Forge friendships, develop rivals as you train to become the ultimate champion, dominating on and off the courts. Katamari Damacy Reroll Cloud Console and PC. The stop at nothing pushing Prince is back and ready to roll. That's a, wait. Katamari is a a boy? I thought that was a lady. 
all this time. Uh, when the king of it, all cosmos accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky, he orders you, his pint sign princely son, to put the twinkle back on the heavens above. Join the king on this wacky adventure to a sword of the stars, now in full HD. Luminous remastered cloud console and PC. Idea at Xbox game, a game that beautifully marries the elements of sound, light, and puzzle action to one engaging yet easy to play experience. You're at the center of this high energy, block dropping action while you groove to awesome house, trance, and techno beats. It's skate. weird to me because this, this skate I thought was already on. Is it was weird because I thought I thought it was already on there. Me too. I was very strict because it was on. It was, it was, on, I, I, it was, it was on recently was added. Now. And I was like, it's so I weird because I, I could have swore it's been on there, like skate that and skate three. I could have swore it was already on there, dude. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was when EA Access was well, a skate, thing. Well, skate three is on cloud. Skate three was skate three was on there. Well, no, it, it was like way, it was it was way before EA went uh, went to Game Pass. It was like when it was still EA Access. Yeah, yeah I know. So like I feel like it was there. I don't know. It was weird. I could have swore. It I was. think we own it. Maybe that's why we're confused. Maybe. I don't know. Because I know I definitely own it. Yeah. Skate. I love these games. Console. EA Play. Head back to where it all began. Begin. Yeah, began. Begin. Yeah. As Skate joins the EA playlist, get chased by security guards, impress or annoy citizens, ride with pros, discover skate shops, and make your spots your own in this fully reactive city. Excuse me. Skate. Yeah, skate. and you fucking careful with those cars, man. They'll put, they'll, they don't care. They murder you. Yeah. Skate in the middle, three. about to get fucking trick and you get blown away. EA Play, this is going to your cloud. The award winning skate franchise returns to break new ground with Skate 3, build the ultimate team, change the face <sighs> of the city, and this definitive co op skateboarding experience with EA Play. Star Mancer, this is a game preview on PC, ID at Xbox. Obey protocol or go rogue as you take on the role of a powerful AI in Star Mancer. Build bustingly spaceport secret laboratories and incubators for mysterious eggs. Defend against starvation, <laughs> sabotage, and space zombies. Don't worry. You can always grow humans. Art what? of Ra- Yeah. Art of Rally, Cloud Console, and PC, ID at Xbox. This is also out. Art of Rally is a stylized experience inspired by the golden era of rally from the creator of Absolute Drift. Everyone loves Absolute Drift, don't you? From beginner-friendly options to driving modes that will challenge the most expert drivers, race across the world through colorful, stylized environments, not including... Kenya with four new cars, six new tracks, and a new free room area. Hades Cloud Console and PC. This is ID at Xbox. Defy the god of the dead as you battle out of the underworld of Greek myth in this game of the year winning roguelike dungeon crawler. You'll wield the powers and mythic weapons of Olympus. We're growing stronger and unraveling more of the story with each unique escape attempt. Alex. So are you playing that before this? Is that, is it? I have been playing that before this very podcast. It is... I'm in love. Cool. Because love is first joystick move. I mean, it is... It's addictive. As soon yeah. as I die, I go, all right, let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back. I, I, I found that um, so you get this bow early on, but and I got an upgrade that makes it full auto. So you just keep mashing X and you just keep shooting it. Mm. Fucking really strong. It's like kind of OP. Um, I, cool. have, I unfortunately died, but I got really far. Microsoft Solitaire Collection <laughs> Premium Edition for PC. I wasn't expecting this. This comes out August seventeenth. Be part of the most played video game in history. Get an ad-free experience in the premium edition, including an exclusive Game Pass card back. Enjoy the best solitaire games in one app, plus daily challenges, competitive events, Xbox achievements, and a new Xbox theme. Discover why millions around the world have loved this timeless classic for over 31 years. I like how it's called an app and not a game. <laughs> interesting, right? It's very interesting uh, verbiage. Uh, I don't think you... Yeah, you don't need it. Nah. No, no, no. We skipped the DLC. Remember, Achievers, if you want me to cover DLC, just let me know, but I don't think anyone needs to know it. I'm going to skip the perks because I don't think anyone cares. Leaving soon. It's already gone. Grand Theft Auto V um, in August 15th as of recording, so I'm sorry we didn't get that early enough. Ape Out, Crossing Souls, uh, Dark Siders, Genesis, Don't Starve, Final Fantasy VII. Ah, sucks. And Train Sim World 2020. All gone from Game Pass. Done with Game Pass, Alex. Alex, I just want to show you this new controller. Are you ready? That's cool. All right, Achievers, I'm also going to show you what this looks like. 
So just give me one second, please. Okay, there we go. Now let's do this here. Okay, Achievers. Now, if you're looking at your screen right now, there's an Xbox controller. Eh. Eh. There we go. All right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, audio listeners. I know you're not seeing this, but just look up Aqua Shift Special Edition Xbox controller. So a new wireless controller was announced, and it looks pretty sick. I kind of like the... So for audio listeners, you're picturing this that silky kind of blue... Yeah, it's like um, a metallic silky blue. Yeah, metallic, yeah. yeah, metallic silky blue color. But the see this is what this is where it gets interesting. The grips, only the edges. Yes, only the edges of the grip have this aquatic mesmerizing grip. kind of the aquatic aqua. uh, detail. Yeah, they're almost like they're they you know what they remind me of, Alex? I don't know if you ever had yeah. one. Do you remember the sleeves that had like glitter and stuff in them? Yes. Kind of looks like that when you kind of yep. shake it around, but then yep. let it swirl. Yep. Looks exactly like that. Yep. Looks exactly like that. God, I don't know. You buying this? No. Me either. Cool. Me either, but I like looking at them. Yeah. That's enough of that controller. Date update. Date update. The game no one wants, Diablo Immortal, has been delayed to 2022. This is, of course, the is this mobile... the one for the phone? Oh, my God. The mobile Diablo game. You ever played a Diablo game? It's like, God, I wish this controlled worse and was smaller. Diablo Immortal. That's what, that's what you're getting. Xbox, uh, we have two showcase announcements. Xbox Game Showcase and a Destiny 2 Showcase are both scheduled for August 24th. You're getting two showcases. Um, I imagine this was similar happened two years ago, I think, where both Xbox and Destiny had a showcase. So they did a little, yeah, because it was for Beyond Light. So it is for, there's a little sneak peek at what they will show you in the Xbox thing. And then they go, the Destiny 2 showcase is in three hours. Go check out the rest. So I assume it's going to be the exact same thing. Xbox goes first, and then we'll get the Destiny showcase later. Mm -hmm. This is via Pokemon's Twitter account, which is a oh, very strange oh. sentence that I just said, but that is what it's via called. Pokemon Attention, Twitter. trainers! Tune into our YouTube channel on Wednesday, August 18th, 2021, at 6 a.m. Pacific time. <laughs> oh my god. For Pokemon Presents video presentation featuring Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Cool. Are you surprised they didn't show any of that in the direct during E3? Wait, E3? Or yeah, it wasn't that the last Nintendo uh, like uh, event, right? Wasn't that yeah, the last one? Yeah, I mean that's the bit. Yeah, I guess I see what you're saying. But I'm so like, I mean, aren't, are you surprised that they didn't show anything Pokemon? Uh, I mean, they. I mean, they don't. They might. Not, I don't know. Maybe they didn't have anything ready um, to show. Or mm -hmm. may, I mean, Pokemon just does literally whatever they want. Like yeah, and people were gonna buy it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pokemon just because Nintendo technically doesn't fully own Pokemon. Like, they mm. just do whatever they want. And they tell them like, "Hey, this is uh, this is what's gonna happen," and they're just like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> so I think they were like, "Hey, we're not gonna have something ready for E3." And they're like, "All right." You hear Achievers, my? You hear my his cat? cat? Achievers, his cat is now behind him, and I saw her. This is Cersei, everyone. We've only saw her one other time. Nope. She's like, nope. She's going to come back in like three seconds. Anyways, that is the date update, and that's the news for the week. We got in and out pretty quickly. Yeah. I actually thought it was going to be a little longer. I wanted to ask you, Alex, the first question that I always ask you every single episode. Mm. We skipped a lot of stuff in the beginning. I usually have the, the Patreon, the likes, the comments, subscribes. I skipped that this week. We we needed to go in quickly, and I wanted to cover everything. <clears throat> I didn't want to waste anyone's the time. So. We need the important stuff. Yeah. yeah, so I will do it right now. As a reminder, YouTube, podcast service of your choice. Leave a five-star review if you can. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Comment below any corrections or tweet at us. Cover it in the next show. If you'd like to support us financially, we thank you so much, first off, for even considering. Second... Go over to patreon.com slash achievers. You give us however much you think we're worth. There's a bunch of tier systems if that's easier for you, or you just give us whatever you'd like. Uh, minimum is a dollar, and if you at least do the dollar, you can DM us 
anything, your question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea for the show, and we cover it in the next week. Pretty easy transaction, if you could say so myself. That's all the real moral. Alex, I have a question for you. Mm. What have you been playing? And it's been a lot of things. So I figured we'll start with the thing we played together, Ascent. And then we can yes, kind of jump did. back and forth from things we've played. So this is why I put it at the end of the show. It's easier for people to get to the news. And then if they want to hear what we've been playing, timestamps. Ascent. It was fine, right? I was going to say, is it a bad thing that I forgot that we played that? No. Very forgettable game. Um, it, it So far, nothing unique during, has happened. I, I was about to say, oh, during the gameplay, it was fine. After I'm not playing the game, and I, I, it's very like, oh, it's like it's one of those like, eh, I forgot all about it. I think that's I think that's the best part of this episode is you forgetting that we played a set. <laughs> I literally was like, when you literally like, what have you been playing? I was like, I mean, you know what I've been playing, and you were like, I sent. I was like, that was this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we played that video game together. <laughs> yeah, it was. To be fair, to be fair though, it, I was falling asleep, and you, yeah. I know you know. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, we gotta stop. I, I, and I wasn't yeah. having a great time either, so I was like, let's yeah. just stop yeah. this. You, I, I. What else? I don't. You go first. I have a million games to say. You go first. Okay. Yeah, Ascent was interesting. Um, I do want to try Hades. I was going to... Uh, oh. I'm trying to finish Death Store. I just haven't had the chance. Yeah. I know you finished it. I did. Um, we'll have a spoiler cast as soon as Alex is done. We did promise yep. that. Yep. Alex, like I said, we've been busy, so we, we weren't able to do it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I literally, I started the Siege of Paris DLC for Assassin's Creed yesterday. Mm. I'm enjoying it. I like it. It's it's good to be back as an assassin. Do you recommend? Can... Uh, are you are you close enough to give a re- no. review? Okay, okay. No, no. I'm literally Not maybe review. like reviews a strong minutes word. To an hour in. Recommendation, but it's I, fine. no, I'm I'm literally like thirty thirty minutes an hour, and okay. I just haven't had time. That's fine. Yeah, and I mean, of course, Apex. Yep. Um, there was something else. You are forgetting thought... something, and I'm forgetting it too. While you think, I'll go. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. I finished Death Door from last time we recorded, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if I finished it last week, but I went back, did some extra stuff. It's really fun. Second, I want to play Boyfriend Dungeons. I haven't played it yet. It's on Game Pass. I really want to play the game. It looks really fun. If you have Game Pass, I definitely recommend at least trying it. It's a game where you date your weapons. You get weapons, they turn into people, and you get to have sex turn on. Yes. Yes. Third, Hades is already... An incredible game. It was game of the year yet last year, apparently, and for good reason. I get it. I get it. How much Everyone time, how much time have you put into the game? I've done so a, probably a total of five runs of the okay. uh, attempted runs, I was, I'll say. I haven't gotten very far. I got to Elysium, if people who have played the game uh, know where that is. I got to the Elysium, and I got to... I guess I don't want to So is this game that. a lot like Returnal? Like, if you die, you got to start over? Like, so, how is... Yes. What? So, yes, so it's a roguelike Okay. But Alex, the difference with this game is Okay. You don't it's not Returnal, you go back to zero. Okay. This game is way, 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 way more deep. So just to give you one instance, you have a okay. thing called darkness. Okay. So you you your darkness you can think of kind of like levels or XP, however okay. you want to think about it. Yep. Darkness you keep. Forever. You die a million times, you have the exact same darkness that you did. Mm. You, darkness are potential rewards you get for clearing rooms, or you can buy potions to get them and stuff. Okay. You go back to your room, mm. you spend these uh, darknesses on various permanent upgrades. One was, I have now two dodges instead of just one. Oh, um, interesting. So like, I can do two dashes way faster than I, can, than, uh, than I could before. One was um uh, I have a uh a backstab damage multiplier. So if I hit someone behind, I get a ten percent damage buff to That's that cool. attack. Uh, there's a bunch of other things. 
there are keys that I can unlock to unlock more upgrades for darkness to, to so I can buy more upgrades. There's a upgrade that if you die, you regen with 50% of your health. Like there's a bunch of stuff. There's, di there's different weapons for this game. There's, I mean, I can go on and on. Um, yeah. Sounds like fun. It's so, it's so good. Uh, you get boons, which are essentially upgrades for your run. So, for instance, let's say you run into Aphrodite. And okay. she says, uh, hey, you choose from these three upgrades. Um, usually it's something for your attack, your special attack, or your dodge. That's usually the three boons you choose from. Mm -hmm. um, and let's say her, let's say you want to get the, her attack bonus. So her attack bonus would give you um, a 10% attack damage increase and once you attack an enemy, they become weakened for four seconds, and weakened means they do less damage to you. Just an example. Really cool. Yeah. There's also a <clears throat> gifting system in the game as well that I won't get into now that I really love. There's like nectar. Yeah, there's nectar you can get, and you can give the nectar to the gods because they ingest nectar. That's the thing they do. It's really cool. And then now there's this whole other thing happening in the game that I, I have. It's, it's really cool. I can't wait to. Fuck, I'm gonna play the shit out of this game, Alex. I played a lot of Destiny. I got the Fate Bringer. Uh, sorry, the Fate Breaker. I always do this. Fate Breaker title for doing all of the triumphs for Vault of Glass raids. That was really fun. Shout out to Oh My God Flamurgers. Uh, that's the clan I'm in for Destiny 2. They're very nice. Mm -hmm. And they helped me do a bunch of hard, very hard things with the Master Raid. Not only do you have to clear the master raid, you have to do challenges for each encounter, which is incredibly hard. Jesus Christ, I try not to think about how hard that was. Um, and then we also did it flawlessly. That was fun, too. Um, I feel like I'm missing a game. This Fortnite? I don't know. I went back to Fortnite and you I got did. the Superman skin. You got Superman. I have not yet. I loaded yeah. the game and went, oh, what do I do? Okay, and then I left. We did I was play and we, and we did a first impressions on Back for Blood. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I meant to bring that up at the beginning of the show. I completely forgot. Back for Blood <laughs> Beta was fun. Full impressions are in a separate video on a channel. Just click over there. It's in recent uploads. Should be the second video. Thank you, Alex. That was the game I forgot. <laughs> That's all the games I played. Everything else is things I want to play. I want to go to Assassin's yeah, Creed Valhalla. I had to go to my Xbox app and be like, last played. I'm like, oh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to get ready for the DLC. I'm trying to do some of this festival stuff that's really fun there's this berserker trials i'm trying to do the, those are really annoying but for some reason i really want to do them there's so much stuff i mean i have so many games. i'm I've, I've suddenly am now drowning in video games i'm i'm very excited yep. and then achievers i have gotten him into the apex pool he's slowly going yes in there. we're we're i'm back on the ranked grind i made it to gold four today very excited. finally i did so that means i can play with one of our buddies that Praise doesn't, the sun. It doesn't stop playing this video game, so I have so I have to chase him to make sure I can still mm -hmm. play with him. Can on <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I hope he's listening to this fucking podcast. I know he is. I'm sure he will. And he's, sure, he's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna text me and be like, "Shut up." <laughs> but but uh but yeah, I had to like catch up to him so I can play with him now. So we're gonna probably play with this right so after. We could probably have this. a good third. Yeah. Yeah. My God, it was so hard playing by yourself. Oh my God, I'm not getting into that right now. But Jesus, that's so hard, <laughs> so hard. I dropped a three thousand damage game though. That was really fun. That's good. Yeah. Never done that before. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I, I was. I felt like I just did lines of crack. Awesome. <laughs> you don't do lines of crack. Sorry, cocaine. You you smoke crack. All the pe all all the people <laughs> who do any of that stuff, they're like, this man doesn't even know. This man doesn't know how to do crack. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Anyway, well. <laughs> I'm rambling. We have a lot of games to play. What Let's are you go guys play playing? Comment below. Tweet what should we play? I just tweeted something very serious. Um, Alex, you may mm. want to sit down for this. Now, I reached out to one Emmett Watkins Jr. He brought up the fact that he tried some Popeye's Nuggets recently. Okay. And he made a tier system. What is that tier okay. system, Alex? Enlighten me. Well, we'd have to go to twitter.com slash EJ Sponge. 
for that. Okay. Now, you go over there. You find this man has ranked chicken nuggets. Mm. And I want to know what you think of this ranking, and then we're going to leave the achievers with whatever we find. All right. So, top five. That's where is it? Oh, my God. I thought it was right here. I'm sorry, Chief. Give me one second. I have to go to replies. I'm, not, I'm really bad at Twitter. So, there it is. So, he has this tier list, and I want you to, I want you to not only ingest what I'm telling you right now, but then think of your, maybe counter, your top five as well. So, his top five reads as follows. Number five, so his number five nugget, McDonald's. Okay. That's number five. Number five. Okay, number, number one. one. Number okay, five. So, we're going out. So, four. Four. Sonic. Okay. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Three. KFC popcorn chicken. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. Wendy's. And the number one. Popeye's chicken nuggets. Really? Alex. You would... What did I do today when I got home? Did you get bought Did you get Popeyes? nuggets from each person? Did you no, get one from each person? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I should have. That was much much that, better content. That, that's some good content. We should do that. We 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 should. I'll invite Emmett. He won't come, but I'll invite him <laughs> to come eat chicken nuggets. He can, he can come virtually and watch us eat chicken go. nuggets. Oh god, that'd be creepy. He's just sitting there <laughs> watching. We're just telling him to be like this. Nuggets. But Take a bite of that one. I wanted to ask you. Top five. You could do top three if, okay. if you're like, I don't know. But I'll, I'll go very quickly. Sonic, no. Is it bad that I've only ever had, I've only think I've had three of this list? Maybe two? It doesn't have to be from this list, though. You know, any chicken nugget. Oh, not, not a big chicken nugget connoisseur, I see. I just, I just never, I mean, if I, if I go to a chicken place... I usually pick like a chicken sandwich. I yeah. don't pay or the tenders. I don't I get, pick. No, the I, get, I get it. I get that. I get that for sure. Now I, mean, I kind of want to yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I love Popeyes. So now it entices me to go get the nugs because I love their tenders. Mm -hmm. And God, you get so much fries with a large dude. You, you get like a box. I love they, Popeyes. They do. Yeah, they give you a barrel of a French fry. They, they, you would like French fries. Okay, back it up, and you just hear beep beep. It's a fucking brilliant yeah. flooded with yeah, French I made, fries. Yeah, I made Why the I, so yeah. I made the ac the accident of asking for two large fries, and then oh my, my uh, God. and then my brother in law <laughs> my brother in law asked for a large fry as well to share. We were on the road. Wait, so that we have, was... were we large fries in this vehicle now? Mm -hmm. Where did mind you put you, it? Mind you, it's a we're in a U-Haul. So you know that big flat panel thing that's yeah. like a third seat? We put all three boxes sitting there. Oh my and, god! And this is uh, this is us like thirty minutes later. Hey, how much is left? <laughs> We're selling we the first box. The second box. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's it's a bucket. They give you buckets of French fries. Oh, you you so ask for though. one French fry. They're like, all right, well. We don't know portions, so we're just going to give you all of our French fries we have right now. <laughs> it's like, what the it's, fuck is it's, happening? It's yeah. so good, though. Like, at least, at least it's good. It is. Now, nuggets. Okay. We're talking specifically nuggets. Okay. Miss Donald's is not number five, Emmett. I don't know what the fuck you're doing over there, but it's not number five. Man, I've eaten some. I mean, I've eaten forty nuggets in one sitting. Man. Oh my god, you have! You're disgusting. <laughs> no, so <laughs> I will say, Popeyes. I had it today. Tweeted at him that he did not lead me astray. I doubted him. That was my error. Those were some fantastic nuggets, Alex. Fantastic Sonic? nuggets. No, oh god, what, what the fuck? I don't know what you said. No, Popeyes. Popeyes got it. Fantastic nuggets. Fantastic wow. nuggets. Okay. Fantastic. Now, are they the best? I don't know. Probably not, but they did have this what sweet... You're going to have to do. You're going to have to have one to eat like, all together. You're going to have to try one at a time. Mm -hmm. You see, consistency is the issue we got going here, right? Okay. McDonald's, when you get a great order of nugs, oh my god, you want to... They I mean, all look like little boots. Yeah, yeah, they look like little boots. You're in heaven. They're, they they taste and they're warm, nice, crispy, fluffy. Mm -hmm. Wendy's, I feel like, is more consistent, but not as good 
as a great yeah. McDonald's, but it's pretty rare when you get a great McDonald's. You understand? You follow me here? Wendy's I, has I'm trying. A, so Wendy's has a consistently good McNugget. Okay. Jesus. A nug. Spicy nug. Okay. I got you. Consistently I got you. good. McDonald's okay. isn't consistent with how how good their nugs are. They're all over the place. Right. But when and they're it, really it good, they're you mean the best. I mean consistent as in like per visit, not like per, per nugget. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Per visit. Okay. I go per I go visit, right now, right. probably not getting great nuggets. I go tomorrow at five, probably gonna get pretty good nuggets. I go on a random. You should go Tuesday. right at eleven because they're fresh. Yes, yeah. That's when they start lunch. That's true. But if I had to, if I had to say something right now, I go Wendy's, Popeyes, McDonald's, top three. And then if yeah, I have I to, eat, I don't, for the Wendy's ones, I'm probably eating the nuggets maybe twice in my life. Really? You don't mm-hmm. get the nuggets at the Wendy's. They're fantastic. I, I'm I'm a Dave's double or triple cup of guy type mm. of guy. Now you get a side of nuggets if you really want to be gluttonous. Get a side of I, nuggets and some fries. Fantastic. Now I you want to die Dave's, afterwards because you're getting. I get Dave's triple large combo. Jesus, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you have a high metabolism. Achievers don't know. This boy can eat. You can eat. But you're not you're not fat or chubby at all. You have a great metabolism. Your fucking body's mm-hmm. eating that shit up. Mm-hmm. I try, I try. And I know some achievers are like, "Oh my god!" Like you're taking out a day. I- I've seen Alex. I've seen Alex take. Care should I tell of them about? Should I, should I tell Alex them about the chilies? Day, Alex one day texted me. Here we go. Enjoying lunch. Achievers, what did this man have on one singular plate and called it a lunch? Not one, two chicken sandwiches <laughs> and fucking two corn dogs next to it. So this man is eating two chicken sandwiches and two corn dogs on a single plate and he was like enjoying lunch. Lunch! That's not, that's not this is like it. a feast for the day? What the fuck that's are you not- doing? That wasn't all of it. It wasn't. I'm forgetting the other thing. Wasn't it? I had a, I had a cup of noodle next to it. Cup, cup of noodles. noodles. That's right. This man had an instant ramen as well. Like, what the fuck? Can't imagine what your bowels look like the next day. My God. <laughs> the plumbers coming moment. over like, what are you doing to this fucking sewage pipe? <laughs> but yeah, no, that, that, that's what we're dealing with here. And he fucking looks great. And it's infuriating. Fucking infuriating. I mean, why do you think I never look and never show the bottom half of my body? <laughs> no, you look great. <laughs> if you did, you, you again, you don't look like you just tore hey, into seven hey, corn this dogs. Is how, this is how this is this is this is what this is what the shirt's for. Look at that. Yeah, dad bod. Dad bod. It's, it's a, a father. It's figure. not. It's, it's oh. not a dad bod. It's a father figure. Yeah, that sounds like something you'd wear. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a very Alex shirt. No, I told my wife, I was like, if you can get me every shirt that I have that's a uh, fandom shirt into a dad version of that shirt, I will switch my wardrobe out. And she's so far, she's gotten me like twenty shirts that are fun, was, like dad. I related. was just about to say, she's on a mission now. She's mm-hmm. she's clearing out that closet. <laughs> the one that she hasn't done, it. I've told her many times, but she has to do it this year. I need a God of War shirt that's a dad. This is like Dad of War or something, but she hasn't done it yet. If you're listening, you know, that's the one I'm missing. Get it together. Yeah. How are you right. missing that? Jesus. Right. That's the e- I feel like that's the easy right? one, too, right? Like, yeah. eBay? Someone's printed some illegal shirt. I mean, what, what's, those, what's, that, what's that? What's like Redbubble? Or is, that the, is that the one with yeah. the shirts? Redbubble. Yeah. yeah. Bonfire. Yeah, sure yeah. Yeah. Redbubble is, Jesus, it's like Etsy. Redbubble mm-hmm. has everything, literally. It's kind of scary. Yeah. We should look into that. Alex. Mm. It's the news for the week. It was a fantastic episode. This was fun. We got to end with some nugs. Now I'm hungry, um, man. I hate you. Really quick, Wendy's or McDonald's? Tell me, nugs, right now. What, m- me? Yeah, McDonald's. Okay. I mean, he I just it. told you. What's I just told t- you I've only ever had Wendy's know, twice but, in my life. I know, but I wanted and the I achievers. And I forty nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the achievers to know your exact rankings because achievers, I want to know your rankings. Let us know mm. what's the nug ranking mm. you got. Mm. You, oh. Now we got the nugs. The very important thing, the sauce. The sauce is 
It's key. Key to a great nug. You can Now Wendy's you're gonna th- now you're struggles. gonna think of blasphemous. Oh no, what do you now I have two sauces I can choose from. Oh god. Okay. Barbecue and sweet and sour. Don't know why. That's not bad. I, mean, yeah. uh, I grew up bad. with sweet and sour for my grandma, but sweet and sour oh, for see, some reason, love it. Well, first off, I don't know where sweet and sour came from. It's like popular now, and people are it's getting McDonald's, it. but like it's like sweet and sour. But apparently, there's a new, there's two new, there's two new uh, sauces at McDonald's. That's for the from yeah. the from those um, BTS. That's thank old. You. Them. I don't know if they're still doing that. Now they're doing a sweet. Last week meal. I, they had it. They had it last week. I don't know. They, they might still have it. I don't know. Sauces. But they, they were, were good really sauces. Good. I, I tried them once. Yeah. It was really fucking good. Now they have yeah. a sweetie meal. It's apparently a wrapper. Yeah. It's a, it's a, I think it's a Big Mac with like nugs or something. On it? No. <laughs> oh. No. It I do it though. Be. It should be. I do it. Yeah. Get rid of the middle bun of a, a bad yes, Big Mac. And, and make, make it, it out of chicken nuggets. Yep. We gotta go. We have to go try this now. Achievers, we're leaving. We gotta go make a Big Mac out of chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm already ordering my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Remember, God, I'm hungry. Patreon.com slash Achievers if you want to help us financially. We always help you. Uh, sorry, we always appreciate any help you can give us. Thank you so much. Uh, again, apologies for the late recording. We had some very serious things come up. Everyone's okay, but we gotta figure it out. We should be timely next week. Look out for the blue box video soon. Look out for Death Store whenever Alex gets off his ass and finishes the game. He has like an hour left. Before do it tomorrow. Actually, I might not because I'm busy tomorrow too. Yeah, I about to say you have like no time tomorrow. So <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't tomorrow so. I don't know what you're talking about with this time, to whatever. Anyways, achievers, go achieve. Go achieve.